So most of the kids you're about to meet have mastered spelling the word champion, right? But the words leading up to that title in a spelling bee competition create quite a challenge. Ken Molstina found out today Fort Worth ISD students were having a little competition. So what was the winning word again? Today? You're, you're going to have to help me on it because I could barely pronounce it. You ready? What was what was it? Froyline? Froyline. Froyline. Yeah, yeah Doug, Doug confirmed it. I said it right, right? Froyline. Nice job. Yeah. Can oh. you spell it? That's the question. <laughs> <laughs> the girl you're about to meet can. Uh, Froyline, by the way. <laughs> well played. Hey, buddy. Uh, that's that's a, a young uh, German speaking woman, in case you didn't know. But let me tell you something. These Fort Worth ISD kids that you're about to meet showed us today that when it comes to spelling, they can hang with the best. Treatus. T R N A T O N. So many letters. Mad. M A D. So many words and 16 rings of a bell. All of it leading to one winner at this spelling bee competition for elementary and middle school students at Fort Worth ISD. E I N. That is correct. When it was all over, 11 year old Maitri Kavuro from the McLean 6th grade center came out on top. I really prepared and I really wanted to go far this time. After 16 rounds of spelling, she edged out third grader Ian Butt. He really made it good because he gave me a challenge. With the championship word being Froyline. That was very impressive. We all saw that. But do you know how to spell supercalifragilistic expialidocious? Uh, I can try. S U P E R. Trust me, she nailed that one too. D O C I O U S. It's that kind of skill that's earned her one of six Fort Worth ISD spots at regionals in March. This is teaching the kids that it's cool to be able to spell. It's cool to read and to understand the origin of words. And now this sixth grader says she's prepping for the next competition in hopes of paving a way to nationals, one correctly spelled word at a time. You learn all those words and then you just have to learn how to put words together. She's a rock star. You know, if uh, May 3 wins regionals at TCU in March, her next stop will be nationals in Washington, D.C. Not too bad, right, guys? No, it's great. Good be exciting to, to cheer her on all the way, Kenny. Thank you very much.